Yo, welcome back to the channel. We're in the north field here to see if we can get this Humvee going and uh, see what's wrong with it. It's a 91 AM General High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle, or Humvee for short. My dad bought this to go overlanding, uh, but he's been swamped with other projects. So we're going to see if we can help him out a little bit, see what's going on with it. This should be fun. So let's walk around the thing. We've got the little lady and the watchdog helping us out today. So the trouble he's been having is going through front tires. He just put these on before his last trip, and they wore out. So something's up with the steering, suspension, something. I can already see this uh, CV shaft boot is leaking all over the place. It's a good running rig. Everything else is fine on it. Just something with the alignment and the steering suspension, something's off. After we get it fired up, we'll take it out for a spin and I'll show you how it's handling. It is not ideal. Looks like we got some water up there. Hey, you wanna get in there and... Yeah. What? How's that even happening? All right, hop in there. Probably from the rain. Probably. Yep, push it up. Nice, good job. Thanks. So we'll just do a little bit of a pre-trip here. Tires are good. Here it is, the uh, 6.2 liter NA diesel. Uh, no turbo. This thing is gutless, um, but it runs. Let's check the oil. It's pretty dark, but uh, it's full. That'll work. All right, pre-trip complete. Let's start this thing up. Try to. Glow plug light is not coming on. Let's try it. All right. That battery sounds like it's weak already. That should be good. So the purpose of this drive is to show you guys how sketchy this thing is. I'm going 35 miles an hour. I feel like that's about max safe speed. Because this thing starts to wander all over the road. The tire's chirping constantly. I don't even know if you can hear me. We'll hit the dirt road up here. I think it's still dirt. I hope they didn't pave it. back at the shop we're gonna move these out of the way so we can bring the Humvee in and pull it apart start working on it we'll get the vet out first and then we'll move the Jeep um, I got a rooftop tent we'll talk about that uh, next week or somewhere I don't know are right, you gonna help me pull the Humvee in Yeah. okay I want to be against this line think you can handle that yep. all right Sam, Jay, Marianne, I see. Now we're not gonna necessarily fix anything today. We're just gonna check out the front end, test a couple different things, try and make a list for dad of any potential things he needs to replace, check the alignment, stuff like that. First thing I'm gonna do is put a ratchet strap around the steering wheel. That way when we're moving stuff around up there, it's not just the steering wheel turning up front. So we're gonna lock this thing down so it's definitely not moving. Now that the steering wheel is definitely not gonna move, we'll jack up each side. Now that just one wheel is off the ground, we can wiggle it back and forth just to see if there's any play in anything. And it should be pretty solid, but it seems to be moving quite a bit. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, we got it up with the wheels off. Get on over here, take a closer look. Here you got a good view of everything, the tie rod, the end links, the center link up here, and then right up here you can see the pitman arm. Keep an eye on these ball joints while I'm moving this back and forth. See, there's movement, but everything's moving. The center link's moving and the tie rod. It doesn't look like the play is in the ball joints. In fact, these actually look brand new. I think he might have done them. I don't remember. What I do see is the pitman arm up there moving. So the joint on there could be bad, or there could be some slop in the gearbox. Ball joints look okay. 
I don't think they're new. The boot's in good shape, top and bottom. There's no up and down play, at least on this side. Let's check out the other side. It's looking like the same story on this side. Ball joints look fine, but I can also get that side to side play here. This up here is just an idler arm mounted fast to the frame up here. And then there's a ball joint that could need replaced. These tie rod ends also, well, this one at least looks new. Next thing we're gonna do is check the toe alignment using these pieces of angle on the hub. Your toe is whether your wheels are pointed in or out or straight. So we'll see what it looks like. So we got two tape measures set up on each side. That way we can see where they're at. So on the front here, we got 77 three quarter and on the back we're like 77 even. So it's towed out a little bit. So it's going down like this, wider in the front, more narrow in the back. It doesn't seem that bad but it could definitely uh, have something to do with it. There is really no point aligning it if it needs steering components like ball joints and stuff like that or a whole new gearbox. Both tires are wore the same way. They're worn on the inside. And if it's rolling down the road, toe out like that, it could just be eating it right away. That's definitely gonna be something to look into. All that being said, there is still too much play in the steering system. All right, let's get under the hood, see if we can get a better look at that steering gearbox. Let's try and start simple here. Power steering fluid. Fluid's not an issue. I did some poking around and I think I have some conclusions. As far as the gearbox and the Hydro Boost, I don't think there's any issues going on with the Hydro Boost. The power steering works fine. The power brakes work fine. There's no whining or anything. I think the pump and the Hydro Boost and the gearbox, everything hydraulic seems like it's in order. Definitely I'm leaning towards the mechanical side here. There's not that much dead space in the steering wheel. I mean, that's coming from a guy that had a second gen, but that doesn't seem terrible. But I don't think it's enough to cause the issues that he's having. If he does want to go ahead and replace the gearbox, I don't think it's going to be that bad for him. There's plenty of access underneath here. It's kind of tight up top, but I'm thinking a new joint here at the Pittman arm to the center link. Same thing over here with the, uh, the idler arm and then the one that mounts up here to the frame, plus the inner tie rod end links, which I don't think he replaced. I think he just did the outers. So if he does everything previously discussed, plus an alignment, for one, I think it's going to be a lot cheaper just to replace a couple joints. And then if we're still having issues after the fact, Maybe then look into the gearbox, because like I was saying, there is a little bit of play. With front end steering and this kind of stuff, it's like tracking down death wobble on a Jeep. It could be any one thing or two or three or four things combined making it have this issue. At the same time, you don't want to just throw a bunch of money at something, hoping to fix it, and it still doesn't work how you want it to. But I think that's going to be a good start. I am quickly going to throw some grease in these outers that he did. doesn't seem like there's anything in that boot. Oh great, seeping out the top and the boot's not even filling up. Well in that case, maybe new joints all around. Get this thing put back together, pull these off and get the wheels back on. Now if we got any 91 Bravos or anyone that's had a Humvee or worked on one, if you have any insight to provide, that would be greatly appreciated. You know, I'm really more used to working on solid axle stuff. Independent front is very foreign to me. See another interesting thing about the toe out alignment, if you go left it really pulls you left and if you go right it really pulls you right. So I think that really has something to do with it. Think we can fit between those trees? I know the Jeep can. I guess we could try. Uh, I don't think it will. The old Northfield. Home sweet home. Got the Humvee back in its spot. I know this is kind of a shorter video but I just wanted it to be kind of a teaser or more just test the waters on the Humvee, see if you guys like it. If you want to see more of this thing, we can absolutely make that happen. Let me know. But that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy. See you in the next one.